which is greater, 70 to the power 50 or 60 to the power 60? What shall we do firstly? Let's consider their division. So now, 70 to the power 50 divided by 60 to the power of 60. So have a look at their exponents, 50 and 60. Now, what we can do is to write 60 to the power of 60 as 60 to the power of 50, then times 60 to the power of 10. Because therefore, we have 50 here, and we also have 50 here. So this can be actually written as 70 over 60, all to the power of 50, then times 1 over 60 to the power of 10. In this fraction, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 10. So 70 over 60 is just 7 over 6. So this one is 7 over 6 to the power of 50 times 1 over 60 to the power of 10. Of course, 7 over 6 can also be written as 1 plus 1 over 6. So it's going to look like this. Our goal is to compare their quotient with 1. If this is greater than 1, then 70 to the power 50 is greater than 60 to the power 60. If this is equal to 1, then the numerator is equal to the denominator. If this is less than 1, 70 to the power 50 will be less than 60 to the power 60. So we just have to compare this one with 1. Let's have a look at the base. It is certainly less than 2. This whole thing is less than 2 to the power of 50 times 1 over 60 to the power of 10. 2 to the power of 50, what's that? It's 2 to the power of 5, then all to the power of 10, times 1 over 60 to the power of 10. Both of them have the same exponent, that's 10. And this one is 2 to the power of 5, all to the power of 10, over 60 to the power of 10. 2 to the power of 5, as 32. So this fraction will turn to 32 to the power of 10 over 60 to the power of 10. And the exponent 10 can be taken out. So it is 32 over 60 all to the power of 10. We know that the numerator 32 is less than the denominator 60. So this fraction, this base, is less than 1. So it's less than 1 to the power of 10. And 1 to the power of 10 is 1. So what does it mean? The quotient of our both sides is less than 1. So our denominator is greater. It implies that 60 to the power of 60 is greater. So do you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.